We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Anthony Durrell says that Canelo will never be better than Floyd and the Kovalev fight. Kovalev took a dive. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It definitely helps the channel. And we work in link in the description. There's an interview that was posted with former two-time champion, WBC champion, former WBC champion, Anthony Durrell. And he comes from a fight family, comes from Flint. He said some very um, open things about Canelo. The, the interview really wasn't about Canelo, but... Um, you know, the conversation, I don't know who the reporter was, but he was like kind of weird, like asking all these questions. And, you know, it was like you're hearing more in the interview from the reporter than Darrell. But anyway, Darrell, in this interview, he was being asked about would he move up for opportunities at 175? And then the conversation kind of shifted like, oh, do you have to beat and go through somebody with a name, you know, get some respect up at 175? And he's like, nah, why should I? He said, I'm, you know, I'm a former two-time champion type of thing, so that should be good. You know, if I want to move up, he said, I'll do it. If the money's right, I'll fight anybody up there, right? And he said, why should I have to, you know, do all this extra and need all these prerequisites? And Canelo just went up and fought Kovalev for a title. And he says, I'm going to paraphrase, but this is pretty accurate and pretty close to what he's saying. He says, Canelo fought Kovalev and Kovalev took a dive. And, you know, the reporter said something back and he was like, man, come on. He took a dive. Kovalev took a dive. And he openly said he believes that Kovalev took a dive. Everybody and their mama know that well, something was up with that fight, if you know boxing, basically. And he says they want, he said, I know a lot of people like Canelo and he got a lot of fans. But, you know, let's be real. Kovalev took a dive. He goes on and says that. They want, and I'm presuming his promotion, you know, the, the powers that be networks and, you know, stuff like that. They want him to be the next Mayweather, you know, the next Floyd Mayweather. And he said it'll never happen. He won't be the next Floyd. You know, he's not. He didn't elaborate, but I'm assuming he's saying he's not on that uh, level. Now, I want to give my thoughts link in the description so you can hear it verbatim and, you know, watch his facial expressions and see the interview new media two words new media i told you 2020 is gonna get ugly shout out to anthony Durrell, my dude can't wait to see him next but it's funny because new media strikes again ego stradamus strikes again notice how professional fighters former champions current champions professional fighters boxers trainers you know people who scrap people who are in the industry that get paid you know he also does commentary with pbc and gets paid that way right and it's funny that they're saying literally verbatim things that i've said on my channel and you know me i i don't wait for anybody i don't wait for these this interview just got uploaded the canelo kovalev fight happened in whenever november so i immediately responded and immediately gave you my truest thoughts the fight what I say, look, F-A-F, fake as uck. That look fake as uck. F-A-F, like I keep telling you. You can say whatever, but something about that fight look odd. Anthony Durrell also said that. He said, man, Anthony Yard hit way harder at 75 than Canelo. And Kovalev came close and he was almost out of there, but somehow he survived. But, you know, Canelo bring his ass up there basically and stop him with two punches in a fight where he wasn't even doing good bro the writing's on the wall something was up with that fight i don't know what type of rehydration clause there has to be some explanation for that performance and you know beyond me speculating that or 
uh, Anthony Durrell saying this. Kovalev, if you guys remember remember the timeline, he said it was impossible for me to win. He did a video, showed his face after the fight, after he collected his money and said it was impossible for me to win. So once again, new media, we just continue to, like I said, we control the narrative. Shout out to Anthony Durrell, Flint. Shout out to the whole Midwest. I like the Midwest, man. You know, I'm a West Coast dude myself, but I like the Midwest because, you know, they got some real people, some real brothers, real people out there who say and do real things. And I can always appreciate that. I love authenticity. And, you know, Anthony Durrell is just kind of saying in his own words what I've been telling you, that Canelo Kovalev fight, you know, something was odd. And, and the funny thing is this, if you look at boxing, look at Canelo's recent career and look at all the gamesmanship and you know, rehydration clauses and weird things that have happened with judges' scorecards. Why would that even be, out of all the things, you know, like I can understand the Kobe Bryant situation, somebody being in disbelief. Because when my boy hit me up and said, he's like, please, I hope this is not true, but I heard da 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 da. He didn't send, he just text the group chat, you know? And I'm like, Kobe? Kobe who? You know, because I didn't even what he said about kobe passing i couldn't even fathom like that i thought it was one of those so-and-so celebrity smashed into a tree and died in a car accident you know and it was it was one of those uh hoax websites or something and then i seen it start pouring in through the news and you know the rest was history so i could understand people being in disbelief when you first hear something like that because this is a global icon in kobe bryant however this situation with canelo Canelo, like I said, it's always a stipulation, weight requirements, rehydration clauses, these clauses, same day weigh-ins, A side this, A side that, um, fight with the quick turnaround, weird judges scorecards, Adelaide Bird, Levi Martinez, CJ Ross. Someone somewhere felt that Mayweather Canelo, who arguably lost every round, you know, I think he lost every round basically, and CJ Ross said it was a draw. You know, Amir Khan was beating Canelo up for while his speed was in effect and Canelo was having a hard time with Amir Khan's speed and movement while he couldn't he couldn't just immediately start touching Amir Khan. So the first four rounds, it was the Khan show, basically. Each, 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 you know, and they he got knocked out. So ultimately it wouldn't matter. But it does let you know that the scorecards are just out of whack every canelo fight is like crazy craziness you know they had two of the three judges had or i think it might have been all three of them it was something like that they all had con losing and one person might have had it a draw but it was just like the the odds and the deck is stacked against people fighting canelo even floyd because like i said one judge seen it a draw when he clearly lost so something being up with the canelo fight it's it's funny to hear from the tears and um, the cries from the, the Canelo man fans that, that believe it's inconceivable that there was some type of deal made or something that caused Kovalev, a known nefarious puncher who had an amateur pedigree, who everybody has respected his power thus far and had to respect his power. And he's, he's actually killed a person in the ring, you know, on accident some guy he fought right he dropped ward he stopped jean pascal who is now a unified champion right he's done some pretty great things he almost stopped bernard hopkins legend canelo's promoter right he dropped him in the first round and definitely almost stopped him in the 12th round kovalev's done some serious business so you know canelo just moves up and where he hasn't shown this ability to knock anyone out with two or three punches. He moves up all this weight. It's not looking good in the fight. Doesn't look as accurate. Doesn't look as precise. And, you know, out of nowhere, he just knocks the man out at 175. And if you're feeling that great, I told you, li just listen to what I'm saying. If you if you just destroy somebody one or two punches, why wouldn't you just stay up at 175? Why would you even go back down? Like you just knocked out a known champion. If you if that was real, then why didn't you stay up to 175? Fight better be if. 
because Can- Canelo's team said better be of is not as good as Kovalev, even though at this point that is not the truth. We know everybody knew better be of at this point of his career. You know, you could say Kovalev has a better resume. That's because he came through earlier. Better be has like 15, 16 fights, right? So if you're feeling so great, why not? Then better be of is easy. Why are they talking about Canelo, Ryota, Murata, Canelo, Caleb Smith, John Ryder, Billy Joe Saunders, you know, guys coming off bad performances, stuff like that, and fights at 160, 168. Why are they talking about that if you felt so great and you destroyed a champion if that was real? You know, he vacated his belt six, six weeks after getting it. So that's cap. I don't know what they did, but something was done. And that fight looked FAF, like I keep saying it. Now Anthony Durrell saying it. Uh, I've also said that same thing Durrell just said. They want Mayweather name synonymous with Canelo. They want Canelo to be the Mexican Mayweather. Not going to happen. He doesn't have the same skill set. You know, namely his feet. Mayweather has his ring IQ is just overall better. His defense is better. And his um, it's just his overall game is better. But one of Canelo's biggest hangups is that he has his feet in cement. You know, feet stuck in quicksand. His feet and footwork is too, like, it's just too flat. Like he doesn't, he has very good upper body movement, fast hands, deceptively fast hands. You know, up top, he's good. The other thing is conditioning. You don't have the conditioning to be made. Mayweather would be one of the only people, you know, throughout his career where if they still did the 15 rounds, Mayweather would still be cool. There's a lot of these young guys, they be drinking at parties and doing whatever, smoking weed, whatever, partying, doing drugs, some of them, you know doing peds and then got to get off them when it, the spot's hot there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes in boxing right so th- that being said mayweather is like the one of the only few people who stays close to his fight weight and could really have the cardio to fight elite competition and do 15 rounds you know a lot of guys wouldn't be able to and canelo has showed stamina issues in many a fight so i wouldn't say he's one of those people that can This is why they're teetering around and, you know, tinkering around and and trying to make these weird, you know, we want history fights that no one's asking for, like the Kovalev fight, uh, Murata in Japan, and, you know, just a bunch of weird events that it seems like a more direct fight that people are clamoring for to help the DAZN app would be Canelo, Charlo, Canelo, Andrade, but they refuse to make that. Canelo better be of would be a, a much bigger fight. And I'm sure Bob Arum would love for better be of to get an opportunity because he has a good chance of beating Canelo, you know, or at least looking good. And then that would I mean, imagine if top rank, they don't want it. They don't even want to try that. But see, this is the thing with boxing. People talk too much. Eddie Reynoso and Canelo's team, they said better be of is not as good as Kovalev. You got to live by that. You know, you made your bed, you got to lie in it. You said better be was not as good as Kovalev. You destroyed Kovalev in the end, even though Canelo didn't look good for 10 rounds. That's the alleged outcome. Then why not fight better be of? Why not fight guys like Zuto Ramirez at 75? You know, what's up with a Mexican fighter and the Mexican-American fighter? And they're both good, both skilled. And Mexican holiday or Mexican-American holiday... Cinco de Mayo in America, I guess you could say, um, holidays that <clears throat> remembrance and, you know, Cinco de Mayo and whatnot and Mexican Independence Day weekend. But Canelo don't want to fight people like David Benavidez, Zerto Ramirez. You know, the walls are closing in, like I've been saying. Darrell's saying the same thing that I've told you. So, so far, Darrell said the Kovalev fight look FAF. I said it. Andre Ward before the fight said that Kovalev is not the same. I interviewed him. I interviewed Jean Pascal. This is all on tape, all on my channel. Jean Pascal said, oh yeah, he said, Canelo is good, but the, he said the Kovalev I fought was a different, he said it was a different person. Then he's getting Dimitri Bivo said it. I mean, it's just a ton of people. So the walls are closing in. I don't think people ultimately were as impressed. Canelo's star power is dwindling down on the DAZN app, like I told you. all Just everything we've said on new media. So I'm glad that clears it up. Um, you know, it's just the same thing from Canelo Man fans. They don't want to hear it, so they're going to say, oh, you're hating, oh, Anthony Durrell's hating, retire, David Benavidez beat you. You know, just stupid shit as opposed to answering the, the questions that are being asked and coming up with the argument. You know, just saying stuff. 
oh i hate Darrell. oh he's a hater ego's hating you know this that and the third but they they don't have answers for this so when i'm saying Car canelo's star power is dwindling on the DAZN app you mean to tell me you think he's doing better numbers on DAZN than he previously was on hbo and showtime you know so the walls are closing in nobody believes it anymore you know nobody believes the the hype of what people say in like canelo being the face of boxing because he has to fight the the, the apt challenges that people want to see and then you know he'll get some of that back but with this type of stuff and the, the Canelo Kovalev, just it was just an abysmal outing. You know, the weigh in looked dry, fight week looked dry, the fight looked FAF. Kovalev came out after and put a spoiler on it and said, It was impossible for me to win. I just took the money. And if you thought I had a chance to win, then you're an idiot for betting on me. I mean, this is just a bad look. So it is what it is. Now Darrell saying that he took a dive, Kovalev took a dive. I mean, just look at it. Anthony Yar was blasting kovalev and he he somehow came back and did good in the very next round but he has his eyes closed and then canelo just beams him with the shot and he gets knocked out canelo didn't knock out julio cesar chavez with one punch he didn't knock him out he didn't knock him down he didn't knock out edislani lada didn't knock him down didn't knock out lil floyd didn't knock out several people you know he didn't knock out danny jacobs never even knocked him down but you go all the way to 175 and run through Kovalev in a fight that you don't even look good in and then you choose not to stay there why okay so you could give yourself a break less weight for you to cut and you don't want to stay at 175 I mean somebody explain that somebody make that make sense why somebody would have less of a weight cut that they would have to even do they uh, what we're supposed to believe is that Kovalev was at his best and this was the fierce Kovalev and Canelo's the four division champion. Why would you not want to stay at the division? Why would you want to kill your yourself trying to make weight and dehydrate to go back down to 160? You know, when you're not fighting Charlo or Andrade to fight the likes of Ryota Murata. Why not stay at 175 where it's popping? Vodstick is a good fight. Dimitri Bivol has been calling out Canelo for a while. Better Biv is looking like the monster. You know, you got a lot of top names. Badu Jack's there. Jean Pascal's there. Marcus Brown's there. You know, Zurdo Ramirez is there. Why leave 175? It, the walls are closing in. You can say whatever you want. Link in the description. I run boxing. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video. We unpack. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.